less than 200 meters off the ground. The crew soon will be bracing for the firing of the soft landing engines. Just a few feet off the ground, uh, the information uh, being relayed to the onboard computers by the altimeter at the base of the Soyuz. We don't get a take two, guys. Altitude is 1,600 and descent module pressure is 603. And we can confir firm 1,600. If you turn your head a little bit, do you see the? Do you see them? No, I don't. Maybe they're on your side. <laughs> Search and rescue team. Well, most importantly, we can see you guys. That's search and rescue team. Well, the camera is also recording, so we'll be able to see it later. 1,200 is the uh, altitude, and we confirm uh, the altitude is 1,200. 16 represses 1616 and oxidizes 0 0.8 and 1.4. We copy. Very smooth descent under the main parachute. The crew soon bracing for touchdown. All right, guys, fold your arms, your elbows tight, and just get ready for the chute deployment. We'll see you guys. That's the search and rescue team. Everything's nominal. Six seven five is the descent module pressure. The altitude is five hundred meters. Get ready, guys. Copy. Get ready. Don't talk till I tell you. 400 is the altitude. Copy. Altitude is 300 meters. Copy. One hundred meters, guys. Get ready. Standing by for touchdown. Five hundred fifty meters. Twenty meters, guys. Brace yourselves. Touchdown confirmed. Touchdown confirmed at 11.35 p.m. Central Time, 12.35 a.m. Eastern Time, 10.35 a.m. Kazakhstan Time. Oleg Novitsky home after 191 days in space for Yulia Parasild and, and Klim Shapenko. They landed vertically. Awesome, guys. And uh, confirmation from the search and recovery forces that the uh, Soyuz landed upright, so they stuck the landing on the steppe of Kazakhstan the 12-day movie-making mission of Paris Selden Chepenko at an end.